Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. A gigantic pie is split amongst 100 guests. The first guest gets 1% of the pie. Then the second guest gets 2% of the remaining pie. Then the third guest gets 3% of the remaining pie and so on until the very last guest gets 100% of the rest. Which guest gets the largest piece of pie? You're not allowed to use calculators or computers to solve this problem. I thank Vijay in India for suggesting me this problem, and I actually checked it was in my notes from June of 2017. I'd seen an article in The Guardian, and it came from the Pythagoras magazine. So I appreciate and know that many of you are sending me puzzles, but please be patient. It can take a long time to make videos for some of the problems. Can you figure this problem out? Give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? Let's start by calculating what percent of the entire pie each guest will be getting. So the first guest will get 1% of the entire pie, which is 1 over 100 of the entire pie. Now to calculate the amount that the second guest gets, we're going to need to calculate the amount of pie remaining after the first guest. This will be 99 out of 100. So the second guest will get 99 out of 100 multiplied by 2%, which is multiplied by 2 over 100. We then need to calculate the amount of pi remaining after the second guest, and that'll be 99 out of 100 multiplied by 98 over 100. And now you can see a pattern developing. So the third guest will get the remaining pi from the second guest and multiply that by 3 out of 100. We can then continue this pattern. So let's write a general formula for what guest k gets. This will be the amount of remaining pi, which will be these fractions multiplied together, and then we want to multiply that by k percent, which is k over 100. We can simplify this formula as follows, and we can further simplify it because this denominator is equal to the quantity 100 minus k factorial. So now, what can we make out of this fraction? Let's consider what would happen to the next person, guess k plus 1? What fraction of the entire pi is that person getting? We can solve this by incrementing the index of k in this formula. We now want to compare these two fractions. So let's divide the top one by the bottom one. We can simplify this by taking the reciprocal of the terms in the denominator and multiplying. And now we can simplify this further by canceling and simplifying terms. Notice that 99 factorial cancels out. These two factorials will simplify to be 100 minus k. We then have these two terms canceling out to be 1 over 100, and finally we have k plus 1 all over k. So what does this mean? Let's analyze this fraction. Notice the pi slice is increasing in size if and only if this fraction is larger than 1. So we set up an inequality that this fraction should be greater than 1. Since all terms are positive, we cross multiply, and then we simplify. We end up with the condition that the pi slice is increasing if and only if k squared plus k is less than 100. Now k is a whole number like 1, 2, and so on, and we can see that this inequality will hold for values of k going from 1 to 9. If you get to k is equal to 10, it'll be larger than 100. So at k is equal to 9, we have the fraction g10 over g9 is greater than 1. That means the size of the slice is increasing all the way to guess 10, but then it decreases. Therefore, we have our answer. The largest piece of the pie goes to guess 10. That's the answer to this problem. Now just for fun, we can calculate the share of the entire pie. It'll be this fraction, which simplifies to be this fraction, and that's equal to approximately 6.28%. And just as a funny coincidence, this is approximately equal to 2 pi divided by 100. It's a pretty neat problem. Thanks for watching. 
These math videos available for free on YouTube build confidence for students and inspire mathematical discovery for viewers around the world. They have over 100 million views and the channel has over 1 million subscribers. Please subscribe for free to get the news videos and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise on Teespring. You can check out my books listed in the video description and you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.